Hello everyone! Hi, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3. In the previous video, we started our adventure. We did the tutorial where we we experienced some glorious Strug City against the double robots, but eventually we persevered. We got to see our uh, character introduction anime opening, uh, where we got to see all the characters that'll eventually show up in this game, including my boy Randy. And I did actually like go back and glance to see who he was. Uh, his portrait showed up next to, and it was Tio. I knew it was a was a was a cold. A, I don't keep on saying cold steel, a crossbow character, but I couldn't tell who. I was like, I knew it wasn't Lloyd. It was Tio, and also I didn't even notice it, but Agate and Tita showed up as well, which is I'm 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 excited for, but also a little wary because I don't know how much I trust this game to not make Agate and Tita weird. Because they already kind of veered into weirdness territory sometimes with Agat and Tito. It felt like, like in like, um, really the worst offender was that like side story that takes place after Sky 3, where they were trying to make it like more blatantly romantic between the two of them, the and I hated that. is Leaves. Leaves. We will be stopped for... Forever. You are not allowed to leave, Leaves. Okay, seems like the Reen Hate Fan Club doesn't have many members. <laughs> it's just me and future, uh, what's his name? Ash. Was that his name? I think it was Ash. Because Kurt was the number one leader of the fan club. So I think in the opening it said it was 1206. Now that I think of it, so it's only been like, what, a year and a half, maybe? Because I think Cold Steel 1 ends in 1204, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe even 1205? Have we nearly arrived? Everyone yeah. looks like three or four years older, though. Like, Green looks like he's like in his, like, almost mid-twenties. Sorry I had to be cooped up in Gorelia Fortress this past month. Granted, that could also be just because of, you know, the, the character designs have, like, kind of changed with, like, the new engine, but... And I'm sure this isn't exactly a first-class cabin, either. <laughs> Not to worry. This is something that needed to be done. While resting, the drain on my energy is insignificant. Besides, if it will reduce the burdens you shoulder, I am more than happy to comply. <laughs> you know, I'd think there was a human in there if I didn't already know that was you talking. Thanks, Valimar. You are welcome. Mm, is oh, this it? Uh, speak uh -huh. of the devil. Sure is. <sighs> For crying out loud. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Do they really need us to supervise unloading this junk? Now, what the hell are they doing here? Now, that's... I mean, I could kind of think of, like, why Randy might be in this game, because of the whole like, loose end with the, the Red Constellation and everything, and they're Erevonian-based. Since it was, you know, directly stated that the Jaeger King is still alive, then you kind of have to assume that Randy's dad is also probably still alive. And so there's still some loose ends in that regard. Now, why Teal would be an Erebonia with him, potentially? I got, I got no clue. I mean, I guess you could be, like, you know, Epstein Foundation work. Huh? Picture that going through a landing port. Wow. Okay, I, I will say I'm not initially sold on Agatois. I'd heard about him, but seeing one up close is wild. Wonder what they're doing here. A seven ards tall humanoid weapon. Panzer Soldats or something, yeah? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is the Ashen Knight, isn't it? Get out of here. Yeah, you're exactly right. I wouldn't have expected a civilian to know that, much less someone from outside Erebonia. Reen has uh, an analyzed foreigners must exterminate, exterminate. <laughs> Let's 
let's just say I'm a little interested in things like this. A little? Your whole family goes nuts for this kind of stuff. But how'd you know we're not from around here? You have just the tiniest sliver of an accent. Do they? I'm guessing you're from somewhere down south? Liberal, maybe? Is it that easy to tell? <laughs> Bingo. So what? That makes you the Ashen Chevalier? And now Agate wants to fight him, because Agate must fight? It, yeah, I'm surprised you knew that too. Well, I mean... That, that seems like a pretty easy assumption to make. Don't insult Agate's intelligence that much. Um... <sighs> Schwarzer, are you back here? What are you... What, go away. Okay, Patrick looks like he's like five years younger. Patrick looks like he's like a 12, like a really tall 12-year-old. We'll be arriving in five minutes. <laughs> Are you prepared? Hmm? All set. I'm good to go whenever. Sorry for holding you up. We gotta get ready ourselves. That's right. Thanks for talking with us. Who are those two? They didn't appear to be your everyday civilians. They're from Liberal. I guess they're getting off soon, too. Something tells me I'll be seeing more of them at my new job. Oh, is that so? I admit, I have heard the rumors. Hmm. I mean, would, that, would the implication be that Tita's a student? Because I mean, if he's an instructor. Leave station. We will be stopped for 10 minutes to unload cargo. And we also technically don't know if he's an instructor at Thor's. Like, that was never necessarily mentioned. He could just be an instructor somewhere. Like, I mean, he could even be like an actual like military instructor. It would appear little has changed. The Ashen Knight is as beloved by the masses as ever. Well, I, uh, tried to lay low this past year. I've turned down all the interview requests I've been bombarded with. It's little wonder, then. For a young hero like yourself, such actions only serve to grant you an irresistible air of mystery. The rumors of your role in the Northern War have, by this point, far outstripped the truth. <sighs> My apologies. That was a regrettable slip of the tongue. Patrick, have you taken Elise off our hands yet so she can quit being horny for rain? No, it's all right. Have you, it's have you just finally I'll succeeded? Have to deal with. Thank you, Patrick. For the last year, no, last two years, you've helped me out more times than I can count. Okay, so it just looks like a one year time skip then. So we basically well, just skipped his second year at Thor's. Seven. I have simply been performing my duty as a member of the Glorious Class One. Of course I could spare some consideration for a hapless classmate with barely enough attendance to graduate. One who has unreasonable tasks thrust upon him on a near daily basis, yet somehow manages to triumph regardless. Uh, how many diaries have you found now, Reen? Hmm? And you said I was sudden. You're serving as the deputy of the Marquis's family in Ordis now, right? I'm sure that's no walk in the park either, but I know you'll give it everything you've got. Oh, he said the phrase. But of course, there's no way I can allow us to fall behind House Alborea. I recommend you do the same for whatever may come at your unique new workplace. And seeing as she is not so terribly far, do be sure to keep in touch with Lady Elise. Who? Perhaps you <laughs> might even put in a good word? Oh, we will put in many good words. Thanks again for all your help, Patrick. But that's an entirely different matter. If anyone's gonna date my sister, Patrick, it's gonna be mean. Reen Schwarzer. <laughs> God. Take care. Hope to see you again soon. Indeed. Oh, that was yes. the train. I thought it was a phone. my mind. 
About that pledge Class 7 made one year ago. Uh... I hope to see it come to fruition. Oh. What, like, were we supposed to meet back up or something? Then everyone shows up because Maki's didn't get an invite. <laughs> yeah, I he's, hope so too. He's desperately trying to figure out where the meetup reunion spot's gonna be. Guys, guys, quit ignoring my messages. Spring once again. Okay, that's a good prologue name. You get some props right off the bat with the names. Well, here I am. Oh, is it finally time for the real game? Talking to NPCs? Oh, it's in Heimdall. Okay. I've never been to the suburbs west of Heimdall before. West of Heimdall? You can't go to the West Ring. That's against the rules. Almost reminds me of Trista. <laughs> there are even Lino flowers blooming here. Yeah, I remember Trista. <laughs> we spent some time there. Bro, look at Elliot's fucking hat, man. Trista Save some for the rest of us. In the academy. Damn. I wonder how everyone who's still there is doing, and how Principal Van Dyke is after he returned to active duty. I guess there's like there's definitely like a war going on uh, outside. No man to save from. From these streets, we done took. I never would have dreamed something like that would happen. And then they mentioned the north, like northern war. I mean, Calvert isn't really to the north. Um. I mean, kind. I mean, like, unless there's like a war going on in Nord, like between them. That must be it there. I mean, I can't think of anything that Erebonia could really be fighting in the north. I mean, there's what, like, the the principality or whatever. That I don't think there'd be much of a fight. I can tell it's brand new even from here. They said they take Valimar to the hangar on site. But they built a new palace? Really? In a year? Oh no. Oh no. Huh? Is that the toaster? Oh, because she's short, get it? Because she's short? Because she's short? <laughs> it really is you, Rain. Wow. The magazines don't do you justice. You look so mature now. And you're still short. Did you get taller too? I almost didn't recognize you. Uh, Toa? Oh, did you not recognize me either? Well, no. It's just because, like, get it, you're short. <laughs> so apparently Reen has, like, no uh, peripheral vision. He can't see anything <laughs> below him. I definitely haven't gotten taller, but I'm hoping my new work uniform adds some womanly charm. I mean, I would have low-key respected if they just made Toa, like, six foot five. She's like, she's got a late grow spurt. Oh, or maybe shows that my figure's filled out a little bit more. Shut up. Uh, hold on. We're not even an hour in. You can't be horny yet. Hmm? I mean, I guess we're a little over an hour in. But, like, normal people wouldn't be an hour in because they wouldn't take 30 minutes to beat the first fight in the game. It's just, uh, well, we haven't seen each other in a while, and I could never get a hold of you. Then you just show up out of nowhere, dressed for work, in the same town I'm about to start work? Elliot lives in Hamdahl. Can we room with him? Can we room with our boy? <laughs> I never imagined we'd end up working at the same place. Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. 
Also, yeah, Toad, didn't you, like, graduate, like, literally, like, as the smartest person ever, and then read down here, rank 70-something? Because I did got one question wrong in the exam. I thought you already knew. I'm not still salty. A one rigged question that was, like, badly worded and used the wrong name of the law than what was actually it, it was called? Well, a lot happened before graduation. And after it. I'm sure you've heard all about it. Okay, there's being vague. Because we haven't heard all about it. Of course. It was actually one of the reasons I decided to come here. But it sure was a nice surprise to hear you'd be joining me. Same for me. Well, anyway, congratulations on graduating, Rain. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who want to say that to you. But I figured I'd do it before anyone else. Thanks, Toa. Wait, do you want something more professional like Ms. Herschel now? worry about it. Toa is just fine. Whatever you say, Miss Herschel. Remember what I said when we first met? There's no need for formalities with me. Miss Herschel is awfully tempting, though. <laughs> she hasn't changed a bit. So, Toa, you've been here a little while now, right? What's her new workplace like? Hmm. Hell. Well, there's no I'm workers' sure rights. I told you a bunch of different things when you accepted your position. They were all lies. But I think this job is going to turn out to be a lot more difficult than you expect. Will it? I've been mentally preparing myself for the worst. I just hope I'm ready. Have you already met all of our colleagues? Yeah, we've all met. You're the last to arrive. What? Rain being late? I'll introduce you to them. But brace yourself, okay? It's not all gonna be fucking class 7 members, is it? <laughs> I feel like the butterflies in my stomach have turned into stampeding rhinociders. No, let's not mention those. Okay, I still got PTSD. It, it's okay. I'm in the same boat as you. Let's work together as fellow graduates of Thor's and get through this. <laughs> Roger that. Oh, we're here. Oh, did they open like a second academy? Cause it's still, yeah, it, cause it still has the, uh, uh, the lion and everything. The color's different, but it's nice they kept the horned lion crest. Or did they just get rid of the old one? Or is this like a branch facility or? Mm -hmm. This is the main entrance to our new workplace. Welcome, Reen. To the newly established Thor's Military Academy okay, yeah, branch, branch campus. campus in Leeds. Okay. So I was like half right that he wasn't working at Thor's, but he's still working at Thor's. Kind of. Ooh. Oh, so, uh, if we graduate top of our class at Thor's, what kind of work prospects can we, uh, be looking forward to? Oh, well, you can, uh, work as a teacher at Thor's <laughs> and then get other people to eventually work as a teacher at Thor's. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not a Ponzi scheme. Uh, Randy. Welcome. Randy. Yeah, it's my boy. What are you doing here? No one cares about you, shut up. I am Michael Irving of the Railway Military Police. Yeah, yeah, stop talking. Branch campus though it may be, I will do my utmost to serve as chief instructor. Uh, <laughs> just, just talk, Randy. Oh, oh man, I didn't think about like, it's gonna be weird hearing uh, the crossbow characters with voice acting. Well, and we kind of got a little bit me. of it with Didn't Lloyd and... expect to run into such a celeb at a place like this. With Lloyd and Reek show, but... Name's Randolph Orlando. Got transferred here from the Imperial Army Crossbell Unit. Okay, so I guess they lost the good fight. I've been hearing your name all over lately. Pleasure to finally meet the man himself. Green. 
I'm Reen Schwarzer, just a rookie who recently graduated from Thor's main campus. Pleased to meet you, Major Irving, First Lieutenant Orlando. Likewise. It's an honor to be able to work with the famous Ashen Chevalier. So they just like completely dropped the whole like Crossbell Rebellion plot? That's a little lame. But keep in mind, we're not looking for heroics from Divine Knights here. We're only interested in your aptitude as an instructor. Understood. He's from the Railway Military Police. I certainly didn't expect to find a ranking officer like him working here. Not to mention... Oh, uh, some dude who beat up God? Yeah, yeah. Probably wouldn't expect that to be your co-worker. That look tells me you know a bit about my sordid backstory. Been peeking through the Intelligence Division's files, I take it. Yes. I can't deny it. Yeah, there was something about you beat up God in there? What, what, what's up with that? Could you tell us a little bit more about that? From what I could tell, it was a pretty complicated situation that sent you here. <laughs> Not as complicated as yours, I'm sure. Nah, Reen hasn't beat up God yet, at least. Anyway, all of us instructors are here now. I'm sure eventually Reen will have a chance to beat up God, but not yet. Major, Instructor Randolph, I'm looking forward to working with you. Indeed. I'm curious to see what you'll bring here. Especially after you turn down a position with us. I've been curious as to why. <laughs> uh, so you knew about that? Oh, that's so? You must be better than you look for the RMP to roll out the red carpet. I heard you graduated early. What are you, like 17 or something? Um... Actually, I'm 21. Does that- does the math work out there? I guess, because she's 18 at the start of CS1. It's been two years and a bit since then, so yeah. What? Nah, -uh. you're seriously only three years younger than me? Four instructors. That's about what I was expecting, honestly. Are we going to teach the entire curriculum among us, though? Oh no, he said the word. He said the word. Correct. There aren't many students, but it will still require great work on our part. Training, lectures, all manner of miscellaneous tasks. We will, however, receive assistance from the special advisor and the principal. Special advisor and the principal, eh? We have a special advisor? And what's our principal like? Well, let's just say that out of all the people in this great big empire, I never thought I'd meet someone quite as intense as our principal. Really? Uh, try not to be too shocked, okay? You've actually met her before, Reen. No. No! <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Uh, oh, it's her. Is it her? Oh. Speak of the devil. I mean, we haven't really met her. I think the only interaction is that she knew that we were spying on her. Oh, and it's you. Uh, uh, thank you for coming. Hmm. Whatever is that slack-jawed expression for? I believe we met during the Civil War. Or have you already forgotten my face? Not that I give a whit either way. And if we say we don't know, he's gonna be crying into his diary at night. The Ashen Chevalier didn't remember me after all the work I went to make the big Tai Chi. Uh, no, of course not. It's good to see you again, Professor Schmidt. I've always appreciated how you helped me with Valimar's Tachi. As I said before, save it. Though my title is Special Advisor, I plan to focus only on my research. I want to make a person who is actually just made of goo. Do endeavor to make yourself useful to me, Schwarzer. Or should I say, Ashen Awakener. <laughs> <sighs> he was one of Professor Epstein's disciples, right? Or maybe not. You sure he ain't some faker? <sighs> Real deal. <sighs> I'm starting to understand why I got hired here in the first place. I never imagined I would meet you here. Oh, it's been about half a year, hasn't it, Schwarzer? 
Well, since we've all gathered, allow me to say a few words about myself. I mean, I guess they've probably met off screen several times, I would assume. During the Civil War, I was the general of the defeated Noble Alliance. Yeah, shouldn't you have been like, you know, gotten rid of? I then oversaw the Northern War, resulting in the annexation of North Ambria. Oh, okay. But you may think of me as Aurelia Le Guin, principal of Thor's branch campus. I guess I wouldn't think of that as like requiring a war. <laughs> I mean, everything we've heard about North Ambria is it is not good. I mean, I guess they have like all the Jaeger branches that are kind of based there. But I mean, aside from that, the, the country seems like, you know, not really able to defend itself. <laughs> mean. All that packed into one woman. I guess it's not so crazy for you to be here after all, eh, Major? Hmm. Uh, Principal Le Guin, it's time. Shall we proceed? Yes, let's begin. Herschel, gather up our fledglings and bring them to the grounds. Y yes ma'am! I'll see you soon, Rain. Then I guess we really also don't know, like, to what degree Aurelia was in on Osborne's plan in regard to, like, the Noble Alliance stuff. Bah! All righty, let's see what kind of guys and gals we got. Schwarzer, see to it you aren't late. L late? To what? To our entrance ceremony, of course. What? I had no idea. <laughs> that would be because we set the date and time without telling you. Oh god, this is what Magius feels like? You'll even be meeting your fledglings there. Exciting, no? Not really. Show them what it means to be the Ashen Chevalier. What what does that mean? Using our power to take Starting over other to countries? See what the rumors about this place being difficult weren't exaggerations. All right then. I should probably put these on. Oh, glasses for the Reinster? That's interesting. I mean, I, will, I do like the setup of Reen being a teacher now. That's kind of neat. Okay, so Tita is here. So, I mean, did Agate just tag along to <laughs> tag along? I mean, I can't really think of what he would... I mean, I guess he could transfer, like, Bracer-wise to Erebonia. I don't know if the Bracers are back. Yeah, this will make them think I'm older. Yeah, they'll definitely respect me now. Oh, that woman. Yeah, they won't... Isn't she the Golden Rakshasa? Recognize that I'm only two years older than them? Black hair guy. Whoa! He's super famous. Huh, it's him. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh dear. How unexpected. The Ashen Chevalier. And Greeny is definitely like fucking evil. I'm calling it. Or maybe not necessarily evil, but she's definitely not a normal student. No way. <sighs> Uh, bro, what is with your eyes? What? What are we, that what? Girl is... Attention! I will have silence! Okay. We Fucking will now loud. begin the entrance oh, ceremony for Thor's to, uh, Military Academy's branch campus. It's Altina. I was like, what, who is he what though, you Green? The opening speeches will be omitted. We will begin by announcing class assignments. And proving that we still First, can't count. Class 8, Combat Tactics. The instructor is Randolph Orlando. Oh, uh, that's not how numbers work. What about class uh, 1 through 7? Right. Step forward when I call your name. Jessica, Wayne, Sydney, Maya, Ash, Freddy, Gustav, and Leonora. You eight. Okay, so Ash is not in our class? <laughs> Next, Class 9, Military Finance. 
The instructor is Toa Herschel. Um, I'll call out names now. Sandy, Kyrie, Tita, Louise, Tatiana, Valerie, Muse, Pablo, and Stark. There are nine of you in total. Okay, so Muse, that's Greeny. And Tita's, <laughs> of course, Tita. And then we get the scraps. Actually, is there anybody left? Is it just those three? Is it just Kurt and Pink Hair? Class 8 and Class 9. Combat tactics and military finance. Oh, and we get a... Uh... Uh, Altina as well. Then the ones left over are... We get three students? That doesn't seem like that's enough for a class. Silence! We will now have a word from our principal. Oh, they're like, oh, what about our class? Principal, if you would. Huh. I think they did the same thing with class seven, right? Where like they didn't... <laughs> like they just left some people behind? I am Aurelia Le Guin. Principal of the branch campus. And they're like, ah, oh, you're in the experimental class. You have to risk your lives every single uh, week. <laughs> you get no extra credit. As some of you are new to Erebonia, not all of you may be familiar with my name. That, however, is of little concern to I mean, me. like, technically I'm like a traitor to the Empire and everything, but like, get over it. A few of you may have noticed already, but I'll spell it out for the rest. This school is a trash bin. Uh... I mean, Tita's here, so it can't be that bad. Huh? Hmm. Thor's main campus will be welcoming the Crown Prince this year. As such, it will go through heavy reform. This campus is a place they can toss aside those deemed too troublesome, or those with problematic backgrounds. Okay, so not nobles, got it. Just like that, all of you, our instructors, and even myself, are here because we have been tossed aside. <sighs> hey now. No, Principal Le Guin, that is far too... However, there is a saying. Be ever vigilant as though the world is a battlefield. Such a mindset is difficult to learn in times of peace. However, the situation we find ourselves in is a perfect environment for it. Those who lack the resolve to better themselves, to reforge themselves in the fires of adversity, leave now. You will not get your tuition back. No, if you leave and if you accept my offer, we will keep your money. Or you run the risk of leaving later in Adios's arms. And we will still keep your tuition. Actually, we charge your family extra in tuition if you die. Very well. In that case, I welcome each and every one of you to Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. I think, like, if you had actually walked off, that would be, like, the biggest big dick energy. Like, you would have to respect the person who's like, all right, fine, see ya. <laughs> like, that, that requires more courage than not doing anything, I think. I greet you with these familiar words from Emperor Dreykels. Well, I'm nice and overwhelmed now. But... Just where are we supposed to go? Uh, you've already been kicked out, actually. <laughs> General, um, Principal, could I get you to announce the final class? <sighs> huh? Very well. We'll be picking up after the main campuses, classes 1 through 6, with our own classes 7 through 9. Oh, okay. The three of you make up class 7. Special operations. He's a little light. Your instructor will be him, Reen Schwarzer.
But Tito, aren't you supposed to be in the other class? Like, I thought she was just staying behind to talk wow. to uh, Schmidt, because I mean, I assume he knows uh, her granddad, whose name I totally remember. Russell? I looked over the blueprints, but I didn't think it'd be this big. Don't get so excited. This facility is nothing remarkable. As I explained before, much of your duties will be performed here under my direction. Okay, so she's not like a normal student, which makes sense. I expect nothing short of raw talent from a Russell. Uh, yes, sir. So, she's a student here after all. I could swear I've heard the name Russell somewhere before. But more importantly... Where class seven is clearly no coincidence. Only three students, and she's one of them. Combat tactics and military finance are undergoing their orientations at the moment. We're just gonna drop you down in the dungeon. Have fun. Special operations will be having an orienteering oh, no. exercise. You must make it through this facility in one piece. And if you die, well, you already know what happens. <laughs> in one piece? What does that mean? What is this building for? It's called Einhell Keep. It was built in conjunction with the branch campus for testing new methods of training. The interior is fully controlled say... via orbital technology and features variable difficulty levels. I was, like, I was wondering if it was going to be, you know, uh, if it changed like the old schoolhouse. As for your exercise, you will be combating monsters and such unleashed within the keep. What? M monsters? That's a joke, right? <laughs> no, I understand. Special operations, indeed. I guess this is a fitting enough exercise, given our class's name. And it's not just for my students, either, is it? Yeah, I assume they need Reen to carry them? It helps that you're quick on the uptake. That said, don't assume it will be the same as the Class 7 you were part of. Rather than an experimental clash between social classes, this one will act as an established task force for assignments in the field. Basically, you're all child soldiers. Get used to it. And as it's instructed, no, you will not be. You paid. will have your students see each assignment through. It's all starting to come together. H hold on, just a second. We did what you said and came here, but what the heck is all this crap? This is just. <sighs> I mean. No one ever told me I was being put in some shady black ops squad. I mean, it is kind of fucked up. Your placement in class seven is the result of your aptitude test, Cadet Crawford. If you are dissatisfied, you have the option to pack your bags and return to the military police academy. <laughs> That's all the way in Crossbell. I've yet to accept the situation, but I understand it now at the very least. Can you give us more details? Certainly. Instructor Schwarzer and the three of you will enter the keep and stand by for further instructions. Okay, my impression of Kurt is that he's like Yusus and Machius is the same person. Like he kind of has like Machius is like, uh, not Machius, uh, Yusus is like casual disdain, but he's also like a fucking nerd like Machius. Okay, four Master Quartz. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus 2. Understood. Bah. Finally, we can begin the trial. Also, uh, Reen, we lost all your quartz in, uh, shipping. You gotta start over. Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. Yes. You think Tita got to keep her mech? Damn, looks like this school's even more messed up than I'd heard. I'd prefer if non-affiliates stayed off the premises. I mean, why don't you make them? <laughs> Take it easy. I ain't here to cause trouble. As soon as she's done with her orientation, I'm getting the hell out of here. Very well. 
You may have been referred here by the royal family, but don't forget your place. Hmm. That extends to any actions you and your friends will take in the Empire from here on out. Hmm. <laughs> I'd say that's up to you guys, you know? You got a whole country up to its neck in plots and schemes, and then a screwed up school like this pops up out of nowhere. Really makes you wonder who's pulling the strings around here. I suppose I should have expected as much from an A-rank bracer. Oh, look at all Agate. He's, he's ranked up. I mean, I guess they could actually, I mean, it could be like them and more of the Sky cast or here for like War of Boros shit. A facility full of untested mechanisms certainly sounds like a playground for the professor. So how much do you already know? <laughs> Nothing too specific. The above ground portion is a cube measuring 50 arch on each side, and the below ground area is still being expanded. Hmm? Are the two of you already acquainted? We are. I just had no idea she'd be one of my students. We may have beaten her up in the past. But that's neither here nor there. It was like really, really brutal. It was, it was, it was bad. Let's start with introductions while everything's being prepped. I just got here earlier today, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to speak with you two yet. I'm... Why even bother introducing yourself? We all know you're Reen Schwarzer, the Ashen Chevalier. The big hero who put an end to the Erebonian Civil War when he was just a student. Not to mention the occupation of Crossbell. I'm sure everyone in Erebonia knows who you are. Probably everyone in Crossbell, too. <sighs> in addition, you resolved incident after incident across the Empire as part of your schoolwork. But I have also heard that you had a tendency to uh, get your ass saved. Then, during the Northern War last October, you worked alongside General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardius to annex North Ambria. Not cool, Rain. Le Guin? Like, our principal? Wait, what? And he helped occupy North Ambria? That's erroneous. The actual circumstances were... You're both very well informed. Though, calling me a hero is a bit much. I mean, Reen, Reen's getting firmly into bad guy territory as far as I'm concerned. I'd still like to say a little bit about myself. As you know, I'm Reen Schwarzer. I'm a graduate of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. I got my diploma just last month, and I'm starting as an instructor here at the branch campus today. And I really hope these glasses make me look older. <laughs> I'll be overseeing martial arts and panzer soldat training outside the classroom. Inside the classroom, I'll be teaching history. Okay, I'll respect that, Reen. That is, of course, in addition to being the homeroom teacher for Class 7 Special Operations. <sighs> I'll go next. Ah, he's a Vander. Okay. My name is Kurt Vander. I'm from the capital. I've heard more than just the common stories about you. You're a Vander? That would make you General Zex and Lieutenant Colonel Mueller's... Mueller is my older brother, and Zex is my uncle. Oh, okay. That's, that's actually really cool. Though I'm aware I look nothing like them. Right up to my hair. Yeah. It's true, he doesn't have dark hair or even a similar build. By the way, are those glasses fake? Uh, shut up. I'm not- I'm, I'm more than two years older than you, I promise. They don't look good on you at all. You should probably get rid of them. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Big oof energy. Fashion is clearly not their intended function. <sighs> Alright, I get it. They don't look good. No need to rub it in. I was, like, really afraid that people wouldn't respect me because I'm only two years older than my, uh, students. Nice to meet you, Kurt. You're up next. <sighs> Fine. Oh, brother. I mean, Crawford, I don't think we recognize that name. I'm Una Crawford. I transferred here from the Crossbell Police Academy. Ah, hence the Tonfas. And honestly, I'd rather not be here. 
But if that's how it's but gonna I, be, then I do I'll just feel like have to the make name, the most of it. Like, I don't know if it's just because Crawford's, like, a, you know, a fairly normal name. Um, that it seems familiar, or... Ah, Crossbell. I had my suspicions. So, when you say police academy, you're talking about the military police academy, right? There was no military slapped on the name before the annexation. Oh, let's go. You guys are the ones who changed it. All right, Yuna's already at the top of the power rankings of the new characters. Are you saying I can only call it by the official name the great and powerful Erebonia has blessed it with? Yeah, yeah, fight the good fight, girl. No, that's not what I meant. Sorry. I was being insensitive. <laughs> well, nah, have some I might have overreacted. No. But I still don't accept that name. Exactly. Yeah. That's completely understandable. Hmm? The only legitimate crossbell is a free crossbell, damn it. I'm less than. Altina Orion, formerly part of the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. Uh, isn't that classified? My affiliation with them ended upon my enrollment here, on paper. Well, are you probably aren't supposed to say that last part. Please, think nothing of it. I feel as though I've just heard something I shouldn't have. The Intelligence Division is pretty hardcore, isn't it? N uh, hold up! What do you mean, on paper? Slip of the tongue. Oops. <laughs> That's not believable in the slightest. <laughs> There's that snark. Thank you for waiting. Preparations are now complete for the level zero Einhell trial. If you haven't already, please set your Arcus twos now. Is that the girl from earlier? I was under the impression she was a student like us. Understood. Give us just a moment. He is no mere student. She, I mean, she didn't kill like God, but she killed like a God kind of. Each of you were given one of these, right? Ah, that. I was sent one, but I haven't turned it on yet. It's a battle orbment. Normal battle orbments are personal devices that link with their user and can produce a variety of effects. They can improve your physical abilities and allow you to cast orbital arts, among other things. But remember, they are never as powerful as the radio. But this is the newest model, the Arcus II. It has a few additional functions. When you're fighting the legendary Bone Dragon, and you're like, oh man, I really wish I could shoot a fireball right now, remember Instructor Nighthard's words. The radio is the most powerful piece of technology in the world. And then you blast your boombox at him. Interesting. It's a little different from the Enigma models in Crossbell. Yeah, it's like they dumped it down. Gosh. To be precise, Where's my they are the product of a collaboration between the Reinford Company and Epstein Foundation. I assume these models are combat ready? They dumbed down is not the right. I mean, that was kind of like a joke, but it's more streamlined. Yeah. I mean, I do I'll like explain the, how they work. the changes to the orbit system in CS1 and 2. Now, each of you take one of these. We got like a sword. We got a... Whatever. I guess a heart one. We get master quartz? The Enigmas did have these. The basics should be the same. Go ahead and set your master quartz in the central slot. Yes, sir. Uh, here? I should set mine while they're at it. Hey, Reen, we're having all the legendary master quartz. What happened to them? Hey, Reen, hey, Reen, where, where'd they go? Okay, that, none of that seems uh, super new. You get Master Quartz, they get XP. Um, special kind of Quartz, level up, gain new abilities. Parent story objective will always be displayed. Police said Reen's Master Quartz into his Arcus 2. Master Quartz can be set in the orbit section in the camp menu. That's like a long, that was like 50 minutes of cutscenes, basically. Now, one thing I do want to try and adjust, like, is I, I just kind of noticed that it seems like the the capture, it's not like capture, it's like, like little black bars on everything. Um, I don't know if I can change that. Because it's not like that on my screen, but it's just like that on OBS. Hmm. I might try and change that in between videos. 
brigand? That that's that's Marini. Are you gonna have two master cords now? That's interesting. Rain level seven. What have they done to you, buddy? Sleep. Whoa. I can feel it working. Now that you've set your master quartz, you're synced with your Arcus units. You should be able to notice a significant difference in combat. I mean, significant. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. Okay, now this is new. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? I don't know, pretty long. Sorry, Professor. We're ready. Then let's not waste any more time. Level zero begins on floor B1. The trial will be considered completed once you return to ground level. And how many do we have to do to get bingo? Professor, isn't that red love? Sir, you shouldn't use that. Oh, don't act like you have a lick of common sense. You're Albert's granddaughter. It's time we saw what Class 7's special operations is made of. I mean, two of them are just regular fucking people. I'm curious to see if you can survive with a passing score. I mean, I guess Kurt's at least a, you know, from like a special family, but I don't, I don't recognize the Crawford name. I don't think they're supposed to be important. Hey, watch the floor. Huh? Uh, what? are we floating or? Reen, don't. Watch yourself and brace for the landing. Don't, don't do Altina, it. Tina, you. Don't do it, Reen. She's just Crown floating. Salius. Yeah, she's just floating. She's pulling a fee. Never mind. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> the immense friction from his jacket. Mm. No. Okay. I mean, we're doing it again, apparently. What happened? I remember that professor talking, then the floor opened up. Um, it was Yuna, correct? <laughs> huh? <laughs> My apologies, but if you could move. It's not that you're heavy, but I'm having trouble breathing. <laughs> they, they, they actually... <clears throat> they, well then, history repeats itself. The floor appears to be padded, so bruising should not be an issue. How strangely like the obscene positions you often find yourself in, Instructor Reen. Shut up. I didn't write this game. Please don't say things that'll give people the wrong impression. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you're already calling me an instructor. That is your current designation. Designation? <laughs> I assure you, I didn't intend for this to happen. Then again, I suppose intent is irrelevant. I won't make any further excuses. You may hit me if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> How very admirable of you. You being so calm about it just pisses me off even more. No matter what you do, ma'am, I will always remember this moment and it will be saved in the bank for later. So I think I'll take you up on that. Still worth. Huh. Erebonian boys are just so. Ugh. I do not believe his nationality was a factor. You were just a little unlucky. Not unlucky. I lack the expertise to make a proper landing. Yeah, sure. That resulted in embarrassment from one of my classmates. I admit my fault. Okay, now you're just being like fucking weird. Uh, I see. He's so mature for his age. Mature? He's just got big Machias energy. Well, minus one stinging cheek, the three of you look fine to me. So it's time to begin storming the keep. But first, I'll need each of you to show me your weapons. This whole thing is a joke, right? 
Do we really have to play along? I know the professor, and he isn't the type to joke around. He's serious about measuring each of our abilities. I want to learn everyone's combat styles so we can work together and get out of here safely. <sighs> Understood. These are my weapons. You just like have this in your pocket? Two swords? Joke's on you, I got another freaking sword? That takes skill. You're using the Vander School's dual blade style then. I knew of it, but I've never met a practitioner. I admit our great sword style has far more notoriety, but that style also requires one to be born with a broader physique. These blades are better suited for the likes of me. Yeah, but can you summon a black hole? Asking for a friend? I didn't realize. Well, Yuna, how about you? I'm still not down for all this, but I get it. This is a military academy, so here you go. Another dual wielder. You use side handle batons? Uh, they're called tonfas. They look a little more complicated than that. I mean, they do have guns in them? What are they exactly? Gun tonfas? These are gun breakers. Special tonfa with guns installed. Developed by the one and only CGF. They can switch between melee and mid-range firing. I mean, at least we changed the name back to the Guardian Force, which sounds so much cooler. An intriguing weapon. May okay, maybe the Erevoni invasion was justified if they changed the name of the army back, okay? Maybe that's the one thing that will get me to change my mind. The Crossbell Guardian Force, right? If I recall, First Lieutenant Orlando was once part of it. He'd left long before the occupation disbanded them, though. Good to know. We'll see how well they work in action today. You do seem to know your way around them. What did that say on the side? Oh, crossbell. Uh, I mean, I guess. I can't so something something P, so the police department, I guess? Uh, of course I do. But it doesn't like a I C. I trained with them at the police academy. Oh, it just probably says crossbell MP on it. And they'll be way more useful than a couple of weapons as old as the Great Collapse. Hmm. We'll see where everyone stands once we've engaged in actual combat. You're up next, Altina. Understood. Uh, I have a robot. Hold up. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Who let a kid enroll at a military academy? I mean, you're all kids. I've been curious about that myself. She claimed to be with the intelligence division, but surely she won't be joining us in battle. Well, personally, I agree, but... There is no need for concern. My physical age is approximately 14 years old. I am no small child. I mean, by literal definition, you kind of are. Physical age? No, you're definitely small. I also have my weapon, the basis for my admittance into the intelligence division. But I mean, she is like a robot, so I guess I don't know. What the hell? So, I mean, so if the joke was that Lammy was constantly cursing, I don't know what the joke is going to be for Clammy. This explains that black shadow I thought I saw earlier. Clown Soleus, a combat shell. The latest version of the line of special weaponry. Further details are classified. Suffice to say, it will contribute to our overall fighting strength. Um, are things like that normal in the Empire? Of course not. It's my first time seeing something like this, too. The Golden Rock Shasa, the Ashen Chevalier, and even a girl like her. What manner of place is this branch campus? I don't blame either of you for having questions, but we can save them for another time. By the way, this is my weapon. No one cares. Everyone knows me. Oh, I use a sword. Wow, real original. Oh. We get it. You're a weeb. Of course. The Tachi is used by students of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Just like back then. Back then? I mean, I guess she's talking about... The... I mean, it's just like the sword Arios used. Okay, so she probably had some encounter with, uh, Green then. Oh, I bet you- is Yuna supposed to be the character that is patched into Azur in, like, the, the later, like, the re-release or whatever? 
Cause I, I remember that being mentioned that like a character from the Cold Steel games got like patched into one of the later releases of Azur. And I, I guess that was probably Yuna. Right. It's not an Imperial style sword. It comes from the East. <laughs> I guess the Divine Blade of Wind is pretty famous in Crossbell, huh? A lot happened, but he still has plenty of fans. A lot happened. Uh, yeah. Even when a certain empire has made him a wanted man. Well, I mean, I can kind of agree with that. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, regardless of the invasion, Arya should technically be a wanted man. I mean... That covers everyone, then. Let's be on our way. We're currently on floor B1. If we make it back up to ground level, this little trial will be over. I'll give you some tips along the way on combat, how to use arts, and your Arcus units. Reen, you've been nerfed to level 7. You can't tell anyone anything anymore. Follow me, and proceed carefully and deliberately. <sighs> okay, let's just go. I'll give it my all. Commence mission. About the notebook. It's a book that you can put notes in. The notebook will automatically record information on a variety of subjects and more tabs will be unlocked as the game progresses. You can check your overall rating, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we've got an achievement. Got a mini map, standard view, expanded view. You can change character leading. Uh, you can use the tactics menu to make Reen stand in the front. The entrance is right over there. Let's move out as soon as we're... Okay, so we do want to... Okay, so Reen is stronger than everyone at least. We got that going for us. Oh, you kind of like, it's like a little bit more free form. Okay, and we definitely probably won't Reen at the front, because he has the most HP, but I guess it's a pretty significant percentage. And what all do your stuff do? High HP increases break damage. Okay. Stronger counterattacks after evading. Eh, evades magic attacks. Honestly, all of the... Well, I don't know about this one. This scene, I don't know enough about... Break does seem pretty strong, but... I don't know enough yet to really judge it as a mechanic. This seems kind of bad. And this seems kind of bad. Like a 10% chance just seems a little too low. Yes, sir. Just what the heck is all this? I mean, it might eventually be good, but... All right, we will stop here, and the next time we will uh, complete our trial with a uh, nerfed Metroid, uh, Metroided Reen leading the fray. I'm Extra Cheese 87. Stay tuned for the next part, and bye, guys.